name is Janelle Young. I am an artist, a painter, and a muralist. I am originally from Pittsburgh, and I've had the pleasure of doing art all around the city. And I am currently downtown on Smithfield Street at the busiest bus stop that there is downtown. Um, I'm doing a project for Port Authority and Smart Growth America, just brightening up the bus stop and also relaying some COVID messaging. And so the concept behind my artwork is that the rules keep changing, but our respect for each other should stay the same. I did my first mural when I was like six or seven years old, but um, I got more into doing murals when I was in middle school around seventh grade. I was on a mural painting team at Rogers Kappa. And then later on in my adult life, um, I worked for a mural organization in New York City, um, doing really, really large scale projects, like a thousand, two thousand square feet. It depends on the project, but I will usually work with between four to eight people um, at a time. And, you know, sometimes it's just a couple people in the studio together and other times it's a large group like installing together. So For this project, I had a few volunteers reach out to me and say they just wanted some experience doing murals. So um, I told them they are welcome to help out. I can always use an extra hand. Um, so I had uh, two ladies, uh, Jesse and Sydney, come down and, and help me out with this project. Um, my assistant also was here as well, Jaquela. So yeah, just get help from all angles. I love to, you know, give other artists the experiences that they might not have had before. Smart Growth America and Port Authority um, kind of had a partnership for um, a grant that was around artwork and COVID. And so there was a call for artists through both of the organizations um, and I applied to that and showed some of my other portfolio work and also some of the other work I have downtown. Um, I do have other COVID related art right around the corner um, that I've uh, curated for downtown Pittsburgh uh, when the pandemic first started. And so, um, yeah, I had an interview. Um, I talked through kind of my thinking of how I would approach the project. Should I be the artist to receive the project? And um, I was chosen as the person they wanted to execute it. For me, my whole motto is like to inspire through creativity and play. And like COVID is very heavy. Um, just, you know, how we didn't have the chance to interact with people as we normally would. And just like the social changes. Um, and then there's also like very real challenges that come with that as well right like transportation is one of those um and just like staying connected to other people and having a support system so i always just want to uplift with my art um you know that's that's huge for me so doing covert related art in a way that is still um fun uplifting or even just you know gets people to have a conversation um that is a win for me art does bring people together um, also just creating different interactive things that people can do safely uh, you know maybe not being in contact with other people but being able to interact with me as an artist either through social media or a video um, or just exploring and experiencing the artwork I did make this design myself um, and the concept is respect is greater than the rules. It's interesting because Port Authority was familiar with the other work that I had done downtown um, as far as COVID was concerned. And one of the pieces that I created was called Respect the Space. And it was more of a social distance sticker for like the ground. Um, and they really liked that theme. And so I wanted to just like play up on that theme um, because it is something that is more evergreen than just COVID messaging, right? And just telling people to stay apart or to wear a mask or, you know, the, the things that keep changing. So I wanted to use that theme because I thought it was really playful. It's fun, but it also can be educational, relay those messages. It can also, you know, give you something really colorful. Uh, so I enjoy that part of it. And also just like a play on words, respect the space is kind of fun. I actually created um, the mural Pathway to Joy that the Arts Festival sat on top of. So there is a stage and the seating and some um, food vendors and things like that on top of the mural that I created for the experience. I'm hoping that they'll understand that they should still be respecting each other, um, that 
you know, personal space is still important, COVID or not. Um, and I also hope that they'll interact with the, the different things that will be available um, via QR code. So just trying to make it an interactive and safe experience for everybody. Um, I have a couple other things lined up for the summer um, and, you know, I'll keep everybody posted on my social channels as to what those are. I just want to tell people to continue to stay safe and don't let, you know, COVID or, you know, anything like that stop you from creating. Like, keep doing what you're doing and if you ever want to experience, you can definitely reach out to me on social.